All right, and here we go. It's another Zero Cup ELO match. We are on Hotel Trouble this time. Let's take a look at them leaderboards. Zcot with 70 up there after the previous match. And you have Glummy, who is on Team Glummy, with 62 in second. Followed by High Dad in seventh with 28. And the rest. Oh, Grim, excuse me, with uh, fourth with 30. Rogue Shaz has five. Spoopy has six. Deploying in 10 seconds. The Law has 15. It'll be Glummy, Spoopy, and Rogue Shaz on Team Glummy. And on Team The Law, you will have High Dad, Grim, and The Law. Okay, and the the ball. defenders are going to go. Looks like The Law has the MP7 and armor. High Dad's watching that second floor restaurant balcony with the MP7 and armor. And Grim is going to watch the restaurant balcony on the fourth floor level with the MP7 and Frag. Housekeeping fourth floor is the objective location. Rogue Shaz with the Scar and Frag coming up on the western staircase. Glummy is coming up the main staircase with the M4 and Frag. Does he not see that High Dad? Oh, he did not check the corner. Oh, he might be looking there now, though. And he's going to turn away. High Dad's not looking either. Now he does spot where Glummy is. Taking shots on Glummy. Glummy's down to 28 health. Oh. And High Dad's got the armor, too. Glummy's in so much trouble, and he doesn't even know it. Now seeing exactly where High Dad is, High Dad's actually going to take some damage. And let's take a look at Spoopy with the Mac 10 and Frag getting peeked out of the top there. And Spoopy will win that fight against Grim. Glummy and High Dad are still going at it, have yet to do any additional damage against each other. The Law repositioning out there to take out Shaz. It is now 2v2. And High Dad does pick up where Glummy is, but doesn't actually connect. Notice High Dad's down to 51 health, and standing up is Glummy. And Glummy will win that fight eventually on High Dad. The Law moving to the western staircase with the MP7. Coming up to meet Glummy, it seems. They're going to cross it, each other. Glummy's going to hang off the side, coming up where the Law will expect it, because he sees that grapple, and he shoots through the wood. Glummy's down to four health. Frag, oh, that's a flash coming up. Glummy has now entered the staircase down below. He's going to come down a little bit. The Law coming back up to take out Spoopy. It is 1v1. Glummy coming up behind. The Law, he's going to sit there. He knows that Glummy was there. And Glummy will go to the second floor to change over to South Staircase, I believe. Unless he's going out to the balcony to repel up. That is probably what he's going to do. Yep. Or, okay. Yeah, he's going to try to see if he can do it without shooting. The Law is going to sit in the vending machine corner. To try to cover the staircases. Glummy could... He, his option here is to go up 304. Or, sorry, 4... Yes, 304, and he is going to do that. That noise is enough information to have the law position himself to look down the hall. Crawling in is Glummy. Holding a frag is the law. Throwing the frag now. That could be the perfect position to take out Glummy. It is. The law will get the first point here. <laughs> that was a thrill early. And for Team Glummy, it's going to be Glummy and Spoopy with one kill each. The Law getting the three-man ace. Just wow. Use the planning table to find the bomb. So, they are now going to move down, actually, to the third floor. Where it's the housekeeping room of the uh, third floor there. Oh, did... Don't even, well, it looked like he might have hit Grim, but didn't. Anyway, they both have deagles. Uh, you have High Dad with armor and the MP7. The Law, he's got a frag. He's going to be on the balcony side, and Grim has a frag as well. Uh, MP7 on for the Law. And Grim, we will come back to later as he sits in 201. Glummy, he's got a frag. Rokshaz has got a frag. And Spoopy has the Mac 10 coming in from emergency with a frag. Glummy making his way up with the M4 on the western staircase. 
Grim has the MP7. Shaz with the oppressor coming in on the lobby. Lummy climbed all the way up to the top, is going to try to run back down and clear the staircase all the way through. Entering through second, making sure no one's there as High Dad was before. Spoopy's going to check to make sure that no one is over at the bench, but comes up enough that... <laughs> Yeah, he exposes himself to, I believe that's High Dad on 207, that is. And the Law is going to peek out enough to give himself away. Question is, oh, Glummy takes out Grim. Spoopy, yeah, it's going to try to take the shot. And the Law is going to come all the way out to try to get Spoopy, but it's Rogue Shaz who gets the kill. All enemies have been neutralized. And Spoopy takes out High Dad in 207. Rogue Shaz came up the south staircase. <laughs> That's the perfect time, too. I don't think you could get any more perfect timing than that. Good save by Rogue Shaz. That's the one kill he's gotten so far in these two rounds, and that kill cannot be overstated enough. So this time, the law, after the, the three-man ace for the law, team the law, does not manage to get anybody out. Team Glummy. The law will start with a frag, High Dad will start with a frag, and Grim will start with a sticky cam. Deploying in 10 Grim seconds. is usually good at finding the right place for the sticky cam. Looks like he's going to place it up there in that cafeteria. One thing about Grim is he does know his utilities. Lummy's going to start with the frag on the side entrance, as is Rogue Shaz. Spoopy's in emergency with the Mac 10 Having a little bit of a late start. And it seems like Shaz might be going in through the western staircase first. Maybe making sure it's safe for Glummy to go up without someone peeking from down below. Now, Glummy, if he looks a little to the left, might spot that High Dad is there. They are now going to exchange back and forth, but High Dad's down to 51. And now down to 29. Those hits are on target. High Dad's going to stay where he's at, and Glummy's going to climb all the way up. He's going to now try to come back out. Look over to the left. High Dad has moved behind the bar in the restaurant, seeing those shots come in from Glummy. Rogue Shaz is in the south staircase with the door open. And it looks like Spoopy has entered on the third floor. And Grim, oh my goodness. Yep, he just gets uh, Shaz out with the nade. Lummy's still preoccupied with High Dad's old location. Spoopy checking in through kitchen. Uh, looks like, I think the law is right now. Yeah, the law is right next to him. If the law moves over, old Spoopy might be very happy. My dad's going to try to get out of that spot. And Spoopy is going to see the law fire in. Oh, he's got two of them there, though. If Spoopy holds that spot, he'll have high dad and the law, but decide to give that up. Grim is in the bathrooms. And from there, oh, he will miss Glummy, who goes back downstairs. And Grim does see Glummy coming up the main staircase, and now Spoopy will be the lone attacker on the third floor. Hi, Dad, checking out the window. It's like, I thought I saw a Spoopy outside. And after not seeing Spoopy, we'll come back to his position in the restaurant. And getting sights on, I believe that's Grim, that is Grim, with 21 health left. There was some decent shots in there. And finishes Grim off. And now down the hall sees the law. The law's down to 85. Swoopy still untouched. I believe High Dad was going to try to come out to get the repel kill. He does not have the angle unless Spoopy comes back out. And does see the law, but rushing in doesn't see the shot. The law gets the kill on Spoopy with the frag. And Team the Law will win the defense for the first three rounds.
Teams will now swap sides. The Law with four, Grim with two. And for Team Glummy, it's going to be Spoopy with three, Glummy with two, and Rogue Shaz with one. Looking at the damage, Use the planning table to find we have the Glummy with 487, Spoopy with 352, and still more than the Law who's managed to get 324. Nade kills, though, don't count for seconds. damage, remember. Rogue Chaz has the AK and Door Trap. That's an interesting choice you don't typically see in PvP. Uh, they are going to go with the fourth floor housekeeping. Glummy is going to watch 207 with the okay, MAC-10 and armor. Ball. Spoopy's got the MAC-10 and frag. The Law is going to come in from the emergency entrance, and High Dad is going to come into the restaurant balcony with the oppressor. No one's going to watch that. Grim, he's got the tactical shotgun with a frag. You don't see the tactical shotgun often enough. And no one's actually watching Long Haul, so High Dad could go in there pretty freely. The Law taking out the camera. Spoopy's in 302, and might be the closest one to hear it. Oh, Grim taking out Rogue Shaz with that tactical shotgun. That's gonna. Rogue Shaz was the only one that was really covering the hallway side, and now coming out is Spoopy, who has to go back in to 304, avoiding the nade, opens up 302, reverse that, sorry, going to 302 and opening up 304. And hide, oh, nade for nade, and they will both miss each other, and Spoopy will rush out to take out High Dad 2v2. Grim down to 8 health. Glummy coming up the stairs right behind Grim and takes out Grim. And the law will take out Spoopy. And it is now 1v1. Glummy in the lobby there by the vending machine. He's going to throw something. I think it's a frag. And the law will avoid it. He's got 35 health left. But all he needs is this one frag to hit. That frag did not bounce well. Does he have a second utility? Glummy has definitely used his left. He had a, he threw a nade already, and he has armor. And the law does have a second frag. Oh, and Glummy, expecting a nade, decided to get behind the door for cover. If they're counting, they should realize no utilities are left for either of them. Glummy has now repositioned himself on the south staircase. The law, looking the right way, because he might be expecting that. We'll see how long he'll hold that, as we just passed the two-minute mark. And Glummy can hear the objective from the south staircase, so he's just going to continue to sit here. And Glummy will pop out hearing the shots! The law now knows where Glummy is, but Glummy will win the gunfight. 2v2! In points. Hi game. The law doing ridiculously well in kills. Considering the positions that he's been in. He's got a 5-2 KD. Glummy and Swoopy with four kills each. Use the planning to And just find the once bomb. again, the damage done between Glummy and Spoopy. Just over 650 for Glummy. And over 500 for Spoopy. Rogue Shaz will start with the AK and C2 placed over that balcony Deploying entrance on the third, uh, excuse me, second floor. Uh, Glummy has the MAC-10 and armor, and Spoopy has the MAC-10 and wedge. Defenders will choose the second floor conference hall, Located and the attackers the will choose, looks like, the emergency entrance for the law with a MAC-10, and Hi Dad choosing the same entry. Grim will start from the side entrance on that western staircase, which he might be going straight for right now. He is. Rogue Shaz is watching the staircase that Grim is approaching. Rogue Shaz getting sights on that door opening. And right across the hall, Grim spots where Shaz is, but Shaz will win that. The Law is coming up to the second floor. Hi Dad's coming up to the third floor, fragging 304. Not sure 
why he thinks someone's covering that, but he's going to go ahead and enter that way anyway, just to be safe. The law is looking right, but on the left side, he's got Roach as approaching, and the law will still flip to Shaz to take him out. Now, Glummy is going to try to move up to the balcony. Spoopy is going to try to get a position on the better position on the balcony, knowing that the law has given himself up and approaching the law. They will exchange. It'll be the law and Spoopy out with High Dad and Glummy left. This is for the lead. Glummy is going to come back to the balcony to close the doors and try to maybe help himself out by hearing the doors and high dad's gonna try to come down the restaurant balcony side Lummy might have heard that exact location because he's laser focused on that balcony high dad has now landed he's gonna come in Lummy's taking shots but not none of them hit high dad lummy has got the armor here i know it says one but it does not properly display how much armor is left in caster mode in the current build of the game and hi dad should see glummy eventually does and still no damage on glummy's hp and for glummy no hits on hi dad and glummy is going to go ahead and rotate entirely to kitchen i believe that's what hi dad was trying to do by baiting uh the, the sound of the door but he's going to give himself up anyway, taking out the camera. Now Glummy's on shore. And now High Dad will actually enter the kitchen. And Glummy's going to keep covering the kitchen hall. High Dad's looking the right way, as is Glummy. But Gl Glummy doesn't have the angle to see all the way into the kitchen. He's going to come back out to make sure that hall is clear. He just gave up too soon because High Dad's about to push into that hall. Glummy's going to locate himself. Oh, as High Dad comes out and they just missed each other. Now crawling in and Glummy looks where High Dad's at. Now he's got some hits on him. And Glummy will finish off High Dad getting the kill. Team Glummy getting the lead here. The Law. Now at seven kills. I think he needs his own kill counter here. Glummy and Spoopy with five kills each. Team The Law will have ten kills as a team. Team Glummy will have twelve kills. The table to find the bomb. And the damage is just impressive for how close this match is. Rokshaz has the MP7 and Door Trap. And they are going to door trap, looks like the staircase of the third floor, west uh, side. Glummy has the MAC-10 and armor. Spoopy has the MAC-10 and door trap. Not sure what Glummy was trying to accomplish there. <laughs> or just entertain himself, maybe, wiggling left and right. The Law will choose the main entry with the MAC-10 and frag. High Dad chooses the emergency. And Grim with the main entrance as well. Uh, well, <laughs> trying to take out the camera, but the Law will take care of that for him. Grim having the scar, by the way. The Law will take out the... Okay, Spoopy's in 207. The law will take out the glass in 207, expecting someone to sit in there. But Spoopy's going to be very patient sitting inside that bathroom. And the law is having trouble taking out the door trap. We'll eventually take it out. Hi, Dad is going to shoot towards where he thinks someone is in that room. And he would be right because it's Rogue Shaz. Oh, now coming in front of Spoopy, you've got both Grim and the law. And Spoopy's being so patient here. Did they go past? They went back outside. The law went back outside, at least, and Grim pushed in ahead. So now Spoopy, who had them both in front of him, now has them both split left and right. Perhaps being too patient there, Grim is now going to go ahead and push the hall. Spoopy, I, I just... He needs to do something here. Hi, Dad's checking... That game room where oh that Rokshaz just pops up and Glummy takes out Grim and uh, Glummy takes out High Dad and Glummy takes out the Law and Spoopy just now remembers he's supposed to be defending. 
But he'll pick up the scar for a prize. Have to give it up though, because teams will swap sides as we start round number seven. So, we have Glummy with eight kills now. That was impressive that round. Just pff, taking care of business. Taking care of everything. Rogue Shaz with two, Spoopy with five. And Hi Dad getting a kill himself the there. Table to find the bomb. In that round. Second floor conference hall is the choice of the defense, and you have the law coming in with armor. Hi Dad with the AK and armor. He's gonna watch right in that main Deploying entrance. And Grim with the sticky cam is placing it in the restaurant. Locate and defuse the bomb. And Hi Dad's gonna watch the main entrance, but no one's gonna spawn there. Who is left? Did it trigger? It must have, it must have triggered with High Dad coming right out there. Not sure what if High Dad's trying to bait a peek or what, but Glummy is now going to come out where he sees High Dad at, and High Dad's going to get killed by Glummy. That did not work out the way High Dad thought. The law will take out Rogue Shaz. It is two v two. And up above, Glummy, is the law. Grim is hiding in the restroom, waiting to hear any sights. Or hear any sights. Imagine that. Um, hear any sounds. Look for any sights. Spoopy is hanging off the west staircase, though, with the wide open second floor door. The law has been marked, probably by uh, Spoopy. And the law taking out Glummy as he comes down from the third floor onto the second floor balcony. Two and a half minutes left. Oh! <laughs> and the law peaks just when Spoopy goes down to the ground floor. Grim has not moved. Pretty much, neither has the law. Spoopy wants to end this match now for his team and not have to play a round eight. He's now coming up right above the law. The law should be hearing this. He's going to be getting into a position. Spoopy's going to check in through the kitchen. The law is trying to hear which side is coming out. The law communicating with Grim, so Grim is going to go ahead and push up and get into position as well. Spoopy is going to go up to the high end and all the way up to the third floor. And the law hearing the shots is going to go back and fix himself on the balcony. Grim is going to go position himself to the... Oh, yes, that's exactly where Spoopy's coming in. He pretty much anticipated that move after Spoopy has given himself away. And now seeing where the law is, the law has the shot with the MP7. And it is going to go to round number eight. Glummy with nine kills, Spoopy with five, Rogue Shaz with two. The Law, first one to reach double digits here in this game, with ten kills. Last one there off of Spoopy, hanging off the uh, balcony. Grim with three, High Dad with one. Use the planning table to find the bomb. The Law will start with the MP7 and Frag, High Dad with the MP7 and Armor, and Grim with the MP7 and Wedge. Going in 10 seconds. The choice here is going to be third floor housekeeping. Locate and defuse the bomb. And the attackers will be coming in from the side. Rogue Shaz with the frag, Glummy with the frag, and Spoopy with the Mac 10 and frag.
And Hi Dad should be free to come out in about one second, and he is. He's gonna go check the balcony. Looking up there is Spoopy, but Spoopy's not looking at the right place, and so oh, Spoopy takes out Hi Dad anyway. But Grim also gets taken out, so it, it's gonna be the law that's on his own in just a matter of moments. And looking the totally wrong direction because all of Team Glummy is pretty much in control of the fourth floor. Spoopy's coming up. And the law is pinched. He's in a really tight spot. Nade coming out. That's going to be in the other side of the bed for the law. Rogue Shaz is going to work the objective. Glummy's going to cover the hall while Swoopy covers 304. The law is in trouble. Can he pull this off? He's going to come out and take out Rogue Shaz and Glummy! Oh my goodness! He pulled it off! I. What? Oh, the, the frag landing right in front of Spoopy! The law got the ace! Outnumbered! <laughs> it is tied! Oh, man! From round number one, you could tell this game was gonna be good. But into round number eight... Oh, boy, is this really good! The law with 13 kills! Grim with three, High Dad with one... Glummy getting into the double digits, double digits himself with 10 kills. What a match! Use the planning table to find the bomb. And this will be winner take all as we enter round number nine. Hi, Dad, starting with the MP7 and Frag. He's gonna sit there on the third floor the balcony. The law, he's got a Frag. And Grim with the MP7 and Sticky Cam. They're choosing the fourth floor, room 302 exactly. Locate and defuse the bomb. And the law goes with the MP7. Glummy with the M4. Rogue Shaz with the oppressor. He's gonna come up the balcony hall. Excuse me, uh, restaurant balcony. Joined by Glummy, and Spoopy will take the balcony side in room 207 with the Mac 10. And he's just gonna rush in there. Rogue Shaz is gonna be the first one to go ahead and peek the Hall, the law is watching, and he takes out Chaz. Oh. The law really has it. And Glummy, oh, doesn't get the shot. And the law takes out Spoopy. Oh, my goodness. And Glummy. He's the only one left. Let me take out Hi Dad. Down to 48 health. Grim. Ooh, late on the shot there. Glummy is not gonna give up covering that bench. Just as I say that, he does. And he is going to totally relocate here. Two and a half minutes left. Glummy has plenty of time to make something happen if he can just pick off Grim and either Grim or the Law one at a time. He might be checking out the planning map or figuring out what the attack is going to be. I mean, you saw him moving a little slowly there. He's now on the third floor, where the door is open on the south staircase, but just keep going. Under two minutes now, Grim is watching the west staircase. The law is still on the 302-304 side, but now he's looking towards the south staircase, where Glummy would be coming up. Glummy comes in quickly, make sure that that is clear. And the law should be getting sights on Glummy. Glummy's down to 33. The law is down to 51, 53, and the frag. Oh, not exactly how we wanted that. The Grim is gonna stay, <laughs> Grim is gonna stay in cover there in 301, but he does have a good position. Oh, the frag by the law! Another ace by the law. Holy cow! Team Glummy fights the law, and the law wins. The law with 16 kills. Glummy with 11. Look at the damage. It's over 1,700 by the law, and 
over 1600 by Glummy. This was an exciting match. And if you want to see more of this, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time one of these matches get uploaded. And if you want to participate in it yourself, go ahead and click on the Discord link in the video description below where you can join in on the ELO matches and get all the information you need on the upcoming tournaments. We will catch you in the next match.